Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Gallywix because, well, I'm stretching. And we're always stretching right now because we're trying to do anything that isn't play undead. Because it's infested, it's everywhere. It's The Last of Us. And it's just all of the places on the ladder. First place boards, second place boards, top four boards, tempo boards. Like all of them can be undead boards. And since they're in every lobby, well, you see what's going to happen. But we can still make other things work. It takes a high roll to make it happen. But Gallywix with heavy cycle things and the new cards like Skyfire and the new Magma Lock can make some for some fun little mid-game pseudo high roll boards turn into a ton of stats very, very quickly. And honestly, it's not undead, so I'm pretty happy. All right, enjoy. Now you know what I'm doing. And we just get an economy. We like economy and shit. Moon. Turn five on Tavern Four, Gallywix. Two extra gold. Let's go. I hate it. I had a board turn 14. Why? Cuz. Cuz exist. Cuz you didn't sell all of your minions. Think about how quickly I look back this direction and how quickly I say something out loud. I'm not reading comments for content and choosing the good comment. I'm just reading something going, all right, let's talk about that. Nomi. See, like Nomi has nothing to do with this conversation, but I'm like Ron Burgundy reading a teleprompter. I now have, have read that out loud. Bofer constantly ignores my irrelevant and passable comments. True. Always. Mostly because I'm offended. I think that your comments are the worst comments in chat. Everyone else's are fine, though. Hope we read my 30-page Hearthstone PhD dissertation. No. I will not. Hmm. I really don't want to level. I'm trying it. That stuff gets read out loud. Hard to ignore that. I try my best to ignore every comment ever you ever said. Hmm. Skyfin. Legit though. Yeah, like legit. legit though <laughs> if we die at least we die with Skyfin on the board he my favorite him and Horsey alright 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 see how this board looks hero powered tempo god damn man why is this so consistent right now uh, he probably had to to be fair we just not we just not getting good RNG when it comes to to mid-game matchups. On the other hand, I was about to say we got decent combat RNG here, but unfortunately that died the moment that attack happened. And then every other hit afterwards went straight into the fucking jelly belly. Oh, you're killing me, Bobby. We had a good start. 
terrible end of the RNG. Okay, well, remember that Skyfin was little? Remember little baby Skyfin two turns ago that came in as a 1-3? Baby Skyfin not so little anymore. He gonna get big and shit. We got ourselves Swamp Strikers, we have 16 gold for next turn. This card is so good for Gallywix. Like, it gives you the line to play toward Jug really easily. It gives you the ability to play toward any battle cry as getting an additional 1-1 one, one as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're getting bigger. We did stay down, and he went up. He's cursing us right now. How dare he stay down? We also did, like, minimal damage. Five damage on a 9 to 14, unfortunately. Magma lock so fun. Yeah, Magma Lock's good too. Same concept as Skyfin here. We gonna need some help. We gonna need Bran or something, but at this point in the game, it is very difficult for us to go up when we haven't hit anything. Like, we're just zero triples Gallywix. Magma Lock? Remember that thing we were talking about? I remember. You know what? This was the take, wasn't it? Is it though? Probably not, actually. Because we want to be able to find something on one of these next few boards. Alright, Magma Lock goes down, which means you go. Technically, I do this first, but. Swolfin now? Interesting. Game! These ones suck. Another ball at the end. Could also just be a Death Swarmer, but... I mean, it could be uh, Selfless if we think he's huge. Really not convinced that Swolfin stays on this board. I'm not going to play toward a triple. I'm going to try to keep this for a turn. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to try to play for the triple. Change of plans. We're going to go. Magma Lock just straight chilling over here, dude. These two cards, by far my favorite things they added in the patch. Magma Lock and Skyfin. It's a shame they're being overshadowed by Undead at the moment. Give it a little bit of time and these cards are going to be very, very strong. I said 40 pages didn't include his 20,000 lines of code. It was really small print, all on one side of a sheet of paper. 40k lines. It's right in there. Make sure you read all of it before asking questions at the, at the defense, though. All right, well, as much as I'd like Bran. Magma Lock over Tad? Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, we finally found a triple. Blanche. No. Just really low on gold. I think I'd rather just play for the triples and the buffs. keep us on the board for a turn instead I think we're running out of time Putricide's not a person to greet against here so we either hold the faceless or we just play the death swarmer for the turn that's fine board it grows real big each turn we just cycle for battle cries brand is the win condition obviously this board is just nasty 26 health goes straight to the moon instantly hits like this isn't even like <laughs> look at this board they're not even putricide creations he just hit all six stars in two turns on six Double Death Whisper Col uh, Colossus immediately. All right, fair enough. Honestly, we should have tried the get good line. That was the play. Now, that one's obviously creation, but like, holy shit, he just instantly hit all six stars. Hmm. I'm trying to understand why you didn't play the second magma thing before putting down the battle cries. It doesn't gain anything. Just at the end of the turn, gains everything for things played. Brian! You don't have to have it on the board to gain the effects. Hmm. There you go. Not bad. Skyfin or Navigator? I'm going to read that we're not dead yet. I want to keep doing it. I want to do this board. <laughs> it's a treeful. I love these cards, man. They're so fun. I want to play undead every game. I want to play the new, the new broken shit. No dying, Madge. Would you stop getting extra rat packs on your mama bear board? If we hit all the rats and then pop that again with the mama, I think he gets close to there. That's damn close. All right, 23 gold next turn. I'm sure we won't find any battle cries to play. All right, three die and we get a ghost. 
honestly, it's so it's happened so often right now. No ghost, but you know, the, the three dying thing. And the reason is probably that like the game snowballs too hard right now. And if you're losing, you just keep losing. And if you're winning, well, you just keep winning. Hence the snowball comment. Hmm, meh. Honestly, kind of a below average board. Well, that's awkward. I was going to sell it. Oh. Guess we just take the trip. Live with it. Alright, well, that's going to happen then. Too bad the mine muck isn't going to get value. So be it. Could have used it on the previous board, but the upside and downside, you know. Upside and downside. Golden ball, it's just not enough stats. Upside and downside on each of these lines. Hmm. Didn't like freeze there, it had Tad plus ball. Ball's bad, but Tad is decent. The fact that like we can get Putricide next turn though, the Tad's only good for the following turn. Yeah, it's not true. We're on five, aren't we? Probably should freeze for Tad. I'm afraid of Putricide. Oh, he did damage to Putricide. Yeah, we'll just get Tad on the next board. It's fine. It's all the same. You know? Like, just get it. It's no big deal. I don't care that much about the Magma Lock value. I care about the gold. Just get another Tad. Yeah, I think it probably should have frozen. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It's a 4-4 four -four for one gold or for net two gold. It's not worth doing. Any random battle cry that doesn't contribute. It's a 6-6. Six -six. I think that's above threshold. All right, trash cards. All right, trash cards. Second brand. Seems baity. Okay. Not my favorite turn. Lovely. I guess we're going to cycle that through. Very cute. Thank you, Bob. I think we do keep this for now. I would like the triple. But it costs us Baran. There's no way we're selling Murkai or, or Baran. He's showing demons. We should really lead with these guys then. Probably just lead with all of them. Throw that shit in the back. Skipped Reborn tech. But which one? For the elemental murloc or for the murloc dragon? Which one would like the reborn? <laughs> for brand dummy? Oh, double it on brand too. Helicard. <laughs> what you doing, bud? Leroy in us? Well, there's only one taunted right now, so you can only get one of the two. Good. Good. Bad. Bad. All right. Well, perfect size brand to get the job done. We Mergolin. We got a, what is this? Undead putricide board that was pretty strong in the mid game. Looks like we have a chance at a ghost now. No, we don't have a chance at the ghost because they fought each other. 18 gold to deal with this putricide board and then back into this, which he's going to be very, very, very aware that he needs to. Nope. 
None of these are undead, right? Elemental Murloc, Murloc Dragon. No, oh, no ball on board anymore. Very, very, very aware that he needs to play Torque Poison. These things suck. Our boards are terrible. Why are they all brands? I see. Only brands. Should have just played brand, Buffer. Probably ghoul. Taunt Bran? Uh, maybe. I think we're going to play ghoul next turn. I think we're going to sell Bran most of the time. We only have 14 gold. So, like, Murkai stays on the board. I think I'll just hold it. We can taunt something else we put in the shop. Like a... I don't know. Like a thing. Like some stuff. Selfless is still in. Yeah, Selfless is a card, but we want to taunt it. You missed a 1-1 last game? Shit, man. I'll never learn. One of these days, we'll figure out how to take every 1-1. One, one. It's a fort foundation? You're not wrong. It's a pretty good foundation for a fort. That's why we ghouled. This is why we goo. This thing is also a Leroy, but it only kills 60 health. The horsey goes down once. The horsey goes down twice. The Murgle slay the putricide. It can't happen. <laughs> yeah. Murgle board's pretty good. Gallywix Murgles barely beats going to six and pushing your button, but you know. We're the heroes in this story? We are indeed. We are truly the heroes in this contest. Appreciate you, Bran. It's time to go. Your people need you. Well, that feels like it does nothing, doesn't it? Exact gold to take it, though. Didn't think I'd ever root for Murlocs. The heroes we need in these trying times. Could lead a Divine Shield, try to value trade it. He gave up! Aww. Aww. Let him attack into this. I think I'd do it like this. With what his board state was. No! No, not Skyfin! He probably only had one. Like, he looked for scam cards and realized there's no way he can beat this board. If he can't find the... Find another Mantid or, or Leroy. Probably check the stream. No, it's Alucard. Alucard's a top 10 player. He does, he's not a sniper. But he knows what our board state was before with four minions that he can't kill. If he can't find at least three Mantids or Leroy's, you just can't beat the board. Or at least two. If he didn't find another scam component, it's just kind of over. These three, these minions just kill him. Yeah, there was a horse that could trade with us. So like, maybe it could be closer. Gallywick's good at being Gallywick's. We made all of our favorite cards work on the same board. Skyfins and, and Murgles. And we killed the undead menace. Life is good.